Welcome back to Danganronpa, guys. It's the end of Chapter 4. We just finished our unfortunate execution of Gundam. And now, Monokuma's simple question. How long are you guys going to stand around chatting? The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back over to Jabberwock Island. Well, Monokuma, we're a little bit worried, as the motives in this game, unlike the first game, have been a little bit external. Uh... For example, Monokuma directly influencing people, or threatening to starve them to death if they didn't kill anybody. I'd be seriously concerned because the minute the second chapter, the second uh, second the chapter starts, that means Monokuma could give you something crazy. Uh, we'll see what he's giving for motive. I appreciate at, at least that. Uh, I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad, but they're trying something new in terms of motives. They could have easily gone back to the old motive and just threatened people to do stuff, and then. Seeing how new people react to the same situations. But they decided to change things up by uh, getting a little bit meta, re referring to the last trial, the last trials, and the last game, and then clearly differentiating themselves by giving him new styles and motives. In this one, he feels like it feels like Monokuma is directly trying to force people to kill. Whereas in the other ones, he was kind of just suggesting that, and they let their own personal motivations and feelings push them to murder. I kind of like the motives in the first game better, but hey, this is still pretty good. I like I like the changes. They're not an improvement, but it's a nice change. It's like kind of like a cool thing anyway. <sighs> the killing school trip will proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. Yeah, great. We can go back to the island. <laughs> Hold on. How much longer are you going to keep doing this? I'm pretty sure he said he's going to do that until uh, someone gets away with murder, right? Seriously, how long is he going to keep doing this? How long is this going to continue? Indefinitely, or so it would seem. Alright, there's seven of us left. <sighs> now then. Alright, after feeling down for so long, I, can finally, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Yeah, that'd be the first thing I'd do too, Akane. Immediately go get food. Hold, hold on a sec, the, the mood changes too damn fast. Well, you know, it's, it's like Gundam and Nekumaru said. That's what it means to live, right? I am Makoto as the next killer. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Ah, she's certainly something else. But seriously, I'm starving. No, no. Then let's go back for now and eat. Good call, Chiaki. After we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. And then let's do our best again. I guess, yeah, I guess. I mean, we, all we can do is keep trying not to murder people, I guess. <sighs> yeah, right. I mean, she's right, right? All we can do is uh, try to get people to stop fucking killing people. That time, I feel like they actually had an excuse for murder that last fight, though. Like, they're all gonna die if they don't. It's better that a couple people die, and uh, one of them chose to just act and get, them so get it over with. And also hope to escape. After the last chapter, he asks, act sus again. Fair enough. With this, the trust trial has come to an end, and once again we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished. But despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Alright, see you later, Jacob. Of course, our optimism was only superficial. At that moment, we were able to forget about the dark despair looming over us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight. He? Nagito? <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so many valuable things from a simple game of Russian roulette. Thanks to that, I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy. Before everyone else, too. It's just too funny, I mean, no one could tell I was lying. There's no way I'd, the file had just Hajime's information. I guess they were too busy with other matters, or maybe they've reached their limit. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found it. Anyway, I can't forgive this. It should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stopped this one. Dude, I don't, I, I'm feeling like Nagito might actually snap at some point. Nagito is like, probably my, if 
if Monokuma doesn't like force someone to kill in like a weird ass with a weird ass motive, I'm feeling like uh, this is a huge death flag. Either Nagito is killing someone or uh, he's gonna attempt to kill someone, kill someone, or he's gonna be murdered. Yeah, these sound like huge flags. These are big red flags, right? Previously, I didn't think he'd kill someone, but this scene's making me... The la the way he's been acting in the last trial, where he's actually gone from being like, oh, you're all so much better to me, to thinking he's better than all of them, because he's actually the lucky student. Like, he's he's gone from being, like, uh, meek, to being, like, super arrogant. Especially because he knows for a fact he has something over on them, with the reward Monokuma gave him. Even if we didn't have this scene, I would, I'd probably say he's a little bit suspicious. Like, the way he was just acting, sound, it, felt, it felt like he'd kind of snapped or, like, turned a new leaf. And not for the better. Um, in the last trial. So this extra scene is just hammering that point home. I feel like he's gonna... You're, you're right, he's totally gonna be way more sus. And in fact, he might actually kill someone. But this, this scene's reinforcing that, right? Like, if you didn't catch on to the fact that he was acting really strangely... Now he's really acting strange, and he's even getting, like, a villain scene. Which we typically don't get. Right? We got, a, we got a couple villain scenes in the first game, but they didn't feature any characters other than Monokuma. This is actually giving us, like, a villain scene with Nagito, which is kind of weird. Even if it costs me my life. For the sake of hope, I can't ignore this. All right, Monokuma has arrived. Who summoned me? Thanks for coming. Oh, the lovely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight, too? What's up? Your face looks scary. Let's see, so you can tell. Oh, perhaps you found out who the traitor is. You know me well. It's what I'd like to say, but unfortunately, I haven't learned that yet. I see, so even you you don't know. Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Muddy, muddy. So why'd you summon me anyway? Were you going to finally confess your love? I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final deck. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about it? <sighs> That's very curious. There was information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? What's weird? There's a traitor from the Future Foundation among us, right? Including that person that told number of students would be 16, right? But this file contains documents that were created at Hope's Peak Academy. Right? That's right. I just reused the stuff the former headmaster spent a lot of time making. If this file even contains information about the traitor? Those, was that per was that person also a former student of Hope Speak Academy? Oh, I wonder. I wonder. Could it be? Is this your doing? Did you slip false information into the file? Oh, nice! Congratulations! A new lap a new laptop or a drawing pad to draw once more. Nice. You tried to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information. Monokuma has no response. Nigito, you're more observant than you look. Once with, what's wrong with that? It's my job to heat things up. It's okay if I do something small like that, right? That's not my point. My point is you already know who the traitor is. What's wrong with that? You're splendidly correct when you say I knew who the traitor was all along. But even though I know who it is, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? It's just like Monomi after losing her magic stick. The traitor's existence means nothing to me. <laughs> her existence means nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. Yeah. After all, that person is the evil future foundation lackey is putting you through this awful stuff. <sighs> it's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> Instead, I came to offer my cooperation, you know? Huh? Cooperation? Your purpose is to fill everyone on this island with despair, right? 
That's why you're intentionally letting the trader do as they please, right? Yep, yep. If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Have an exchange. I want to know who the trader is. Interesting. Very interesting. I wonder if Nikita is bluffing or not. He's getting a villain scene. But this might just be because we need this information to like understand what's going on in the game when we see some weird shit. Obviously, that's a big no-no. I mean, I want I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you too. Oh, I knew you'd say. Besides, I wouldn't be able to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> just as I thought. You saw right through. No matter what situation I feel myself in, my core way of thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines brightly, step letters such as myself and despair exist. You're correct. You're a true believer of hope after all. You wouldn't mind Monokuma Hoshi? I wouldn't either, man. I must say, that belief reminds me of that person for some reason. What? Uh, reminds you? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but if someone as worthless as me reminds you of some other person, it must be extremely unlucky. <laughs> but you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this? <laughs> it's true. Then again, Nagi, our previous protagonist had the same unfortunate. I actually think I'm very lucky. Oh, oh. Wouldn't you say that coming across this much despair is a rather rare opportunity? I can't rely on anyone on this island, that's why I have to be the one who does it. If I can eliminate despair from this island, I won't be a step letter anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that could be called ultimate hope. Oh, the two of you are alike. You definitely remind me of him. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Oh. <sighs> Who are you waiting for on this island? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person you're waiting for already on the island? Mm. Well, answer my question. <laughs> if that's the case, if the person is already on this island, <laughs> wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> oh boy, here we go. What's the timer at now? It's gotta be counting down to something. It's gotta be close, right? Five days left. Five days, 11 hours. Okay. The Makoto in I Am Makoto isn't the same, and it plays after Danganronpa 1. Interesting. Ooh. Seven students remain. You obtained a present, the Hellhounder earring. Big yay! Thanks for the drink, my man. How's it going? Ah, just starting chapter five. Mm. After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. Dying from school, and we're here starting Danganronpa chapter five. And just like before, our day begins with us all gathering at the restaurant. You know, every time we meet here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There's less than half of us here than there were at the beginning. <sighs> what? Stupid fool, get it together. Did you say something? It's Nekomaru. It was Coach Nekomaru's voice. Huh? What are you talking? About? What are you talking about? He's no longer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what, are you, what are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. 
More importantly, I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was. How rude, BB. Driving off. Driving off our wonderful friend. Big you. Ah, don't, don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Important. This, it took me all night to make it. Ah. Is that a Nekamaru doll? I'm no doll. I'm Minimaru. Minimaru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. Isn't it freaking adorable, though? Oh, so cute. Oh. It's so cute. Thanks, I'll keep it. Yeah. I never said anything about giving it away. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Uh, wait, no, that, that's a bully's logic. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. I give it to cheer you guys up anyway. Uh. As long as we have it, we won't forget, you know? Nakamaru's sacrifice. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're going to prevent something like that from ever happening again. I guess we got to fight too, right? We can't keep running away. Damn, he's actually becoming an okay person. He's actually becoming a... Uh, a very hopeful individual. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. So I will never give up. I will fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Sonia, uh, Sonia, what did you think of my little pep talk? <laughs> oh, did you say something? Wow, Re rejected. She's not even pretending he exists anymore. Damn. Wow, I was all my, up and up all night memorizing that speech. And there's the punchline. I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. His name is actually Mini Nidai, apparently. Oh, that's what he's saying in Japanese. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. By the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. Oh, are, are you serious? That's amazing. Of course, I made it after all. <laughs> Seriously? Thanks, I'll take your care of it. Akana looks really happy. Anyway, what happened to Nikita? Nikita? I haven't seen him like I usually do. You don't have to worry about that guy. He goes to all the freaky time. Still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the last Frost trial. Yeah, it was really sus. He's always been a dangerous bastard, but he crossed the line, you know? Yeah, that's even more the reason we should avoid him. Even if we do avoid him, what are we going to do if he approaches him? Nikita's sudden change is really weird. Yeah, cameras and microphones, yep, for sure. It's Soda's using it to spy on people, yep, trying to stare at them when they get changed or something. I definitely put a towel over it before I even considered getting changed in the same room. I wonder, did he figure out something we're not aware of? Anyway, Hajime, it's about time you told us what that was all about. Oh, that? <laughs> you know, what Nikito said during the trial. Symbols of hope. He has more information, so he's treating everyone like trash. What a shitty person. Except for Hajime, of course. Oi, Kura. What did he mean, except for Hajime? Uh -huh. Are you really a traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. But to tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you... Apparently, I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve corps student from the reserve department. Huh? Yeah, Chiaki's been acting very strange too, but I don't know. We'll see. Reserve department? I Means unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> Is that all? Uh... That, that's it? Dude, don't fucking scare me like that. It's not something I could just brush off, especially because it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Peak because I had talent all along. But, ah, shit. My whole life, I just wanted to feel confident about myself, and I thought getting into Hope's Peak meant I'd finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup. There we go. F-bombs where appropriate, see? Cheer up, Hedgeman. Doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. That's right. No matter what, you're after. Oh, there's there's a saying in Japan. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey, you're, the hell, you're saying that all wrong. 
was, everyone was here. It was a real close battle. Damn, Monomi, you're almost dead. You're covered in blood. What happens? I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is hard to say sometimes. Oh, that's weird. Maybe you can't see me? The heck? You're covered in blood. Ah, uh, you saw me! That's right, the mo motor beast this time was very strong! Oh, gross, get, don't get close to me. Get get out of here. No gratitude, uh, I'm being treated like Phil. Uh, why don't we, how don't you clean the blood off? We're, we're trying to eat. Uh, yes, uh, I'm ashamed of myself. Wipe, 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 wipe. There we go! Now then, allow me to re report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last Mono Beast. Because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh... Specified final island. Interesting. <sighs> I see. I see. What a good reaction. It's like surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from all you can eat restaurant. Hello. Don't tell me this again. You gonna say something like, it's not like we can get off this island, why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true, I don't really expect much. <laughs> Who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously we're gonna go, dumbass. Huh? So we were all thinking about running away, if that's a mistake. Because if we can't run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who put us through this crap in one blow. Fight? Seriously? The, the fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? Did you forget what you said earlier? Dumbass, only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia. And there goes his hope values from, oh wow, suddenly impressive to right back into the ground. Don't brag about that. Settle them. You have the power to fight amongst yourselves. Direct that power towards our enemy. <laughs> Let's go forth. Offense is the best defense. You're right, now's not the time for us to be bickering. I don't really get it, but Miss Sonia talks like that. My, my blood starts to boil. All right, I'm getting pumped out. Let's charge our way to that new island. The future foundation. Monokuma. Monomi, I'll crush them all at once. Even me? I seem liable. You don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know? You're right. And I gotta do my best too. Thanks, Chiaki. As we left the restaurant, the expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. Ooh, big yay. Is it Chiaki or Sonia? Which is number one? Can't just say two people are hot. Now you gotta make a comparison. The shrimp. <laughs> what does that make you, BB, if you're still here? They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking towards the last island, but the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. That filled me with this strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone had, was lodged in my throat. The Mono Beasts, by the way, uh, for those of you who might have missed this, are uh, basically just the... They're basically like evil robots that apparently just stop you from going to the next island. Uh, they basically just serve as obstacles that Monomi eliminates after every drain every single trial or after it so that uh, we can go to the next island. At least. Not fights me. Strange, uncomfortable feeling. Like a bone lodged in my throat. I tried not to think about it, though. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Chapter 5 Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair. Microbe. Microbe it is. Oof. With the Mono Beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Very avant garde, I guess. Industrial. Avant garde industrial. The final island. Enormous buildings towered everywhere as if the entire island were a gig one gigantic city. It felt very sci-fi, as though the island were a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambience befitting of a final island. Ambience befitting of a final island? Alright, we can go back to the central island, no reason for that. 
Right, let's have a look at our little critter. He's we don't want him dead yet. He's not dead. That we'll call that a win. All right. Who's left on our report card to load up? Sonia? Oh, Gundam's dead. That's unfortunate. I would have really liked to finish off Gundam if he was going to die, but we got Chiaki and Sonia, which we can finish. Alright. First, go things first. Wow, that's surprisingly low res. Okay. All the stuff in the background is pretty good, but that was surprisingly low. Alright, what do we got here? Fuhiko. Some ramen. Give me this. Yeah. Camera. Anything interesting here? Not really. We'll talk to Fuhiko, see what's up. It was like a bunch of stores. <laughs> I was wondering who was lured here by the smell. I expected a Kane though, not. I wasn't lured by the smelling. It looks like the street's full of food vendors, but as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Normally a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about. Hey, there's food. I guess you have to make it yourself, but hey, there's good food. Or at least something new. That's probably an improvement. We don't have to eat the same crab at breakfast. We can go here for dinner. Factory. The Mono Factory. Is this where Monokuma gets his clones? It's a plushy factory. White smoke billows from the building in the back. Is this kind of some kind of thing? If it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Ah, Hajime. Good, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? Well, it could look suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Clearly it looks suspicious. I thought it'd be... Dangerous to go alone. You want to go inside together? Mm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. What's the hesitation for? Aren't you, man? You're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? How could you tell? I like to eat my favorite foods first. Interesting. Inside of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. I, I guess so. Alright, are there any hidden Monokumas here? I don't want to miss one. Obviously, there's a giant Monokuma face here, but... No, I don't see one. Alright, into the factory we go. Alright then, I'm going inside. Me and Chiaki aren't close enough. What the heck is this? Monokuma flat factory? They're turning, they're creating monokumas from palm trees? What the heck is this? Was being manufactured one at the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokuma. Yaki's here. A pile of, all right, so which one of these is the one I'm looking for? Oh, first try. All right, that was easy. <laughs> You'd take one? The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket one after the other. They better not be fucking real. I picked one up with my hands. Ah, but they're plushies. Monokuma plushie. Ah, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. Unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're like my life-size plushies. Life-size plushies? I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. I'm gonna be rich. You made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. Yeah, I don't want it. You don't want it? Well, too bad. I do. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. Mm. I see. This place is for manufacturing life-size more cool plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? 
There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next to What should we do? Honestly, I don't feel like going. What if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right. I think we should go there for just a little while. All right. I'm talking to. I want to talk to Shiaki since she's here. She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken aback too. That's how we supposed. Watching simple machines like this remind me of games. Games. Hmm. Like this one game where you just put caps on pens. What other game where you try to guess a person's gender? Is that even fun? It sounds fun to me. I'd play it. If Chiaki's there, I'd play it. Looks like the break room's on the other side of this door. It sounds like a place for housewives to gossip, but it doesn't seem like there's anyone at this factory. Okay, looks like we're not allowed in there. Anything weird up here? Other than a million Monokumas? Nothing too crazy. Oh, it's just the equipment itself. Never mind. We already read this. It's wrong. Talk to Chiaki. Yeah, yeah. the important clue, so maybe I should investigate the warehouse. I don't feel like it though, yep. We're doing it anyway, buddy. You have a Monokuma plushie, you'd cosplay Junko or Kyoko. Probably Kyoko, too many Junko cosplays in the world, and she already shows a... Well, I don't know. Junko's cosplay is... Junko's outfit's okay, it's just like a sh regular ass skirt. Instead of thinking I've peeked into the pile of stacks of cardboard boxes. A Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, even a Monokuma guitar. <sighs> First there was the archive in the funhouse, now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without sugar. In other words, no reason for existing. Who do you think the traitor is? Random guess allowed? I don't know. Chiaki. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Uh, who seems like the traitor? It's a short list now. There's only six people we could pick. Uh. Chiaki seems... Do you think Sony is the traitor? I don't think Sony's the traitor. I guess it's like... I want to guess Chiaki or not Fuhiko. Uh, maybe someone already died. That's yeah, assuming they're still alive. I think we sh we should assume they're still alive. Akane would just be the same as the first game, so I don't think it's Akane. Yeah, it might be Chiaki. So I think he's too- I think Kazuichi is too Yasuhiro. This guy wasn't even aware his sister was dead. And flipped the fuck out. Nagito's too obvious cause he- Nagito isn't cause he eliminated himself. We aren't cause we know what we are. I think Sonya wouldn't be- it would be like Chiaki or Sonya would be the most too likely. I don't- I, I mean, Chiaki or Akane, but I feel like Akane isn't someone who, uh... Ch Akane would be redundant because Sakura was already the traitor. And they try, they're try they intentionally trying to change things up, so it would have to be like... I would say like Chiaki and then Sonia. He's starting to talk even crazier. Oh, that's weird. The camera does this. It slides left or right, and in... Oof, that's annoying. Uh, left moves me... Or right moves me left and left moves me right. A little bit annoying. This looks like a Monokuma panel. Why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them all make them all look boom. Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would ever sell your stuff. Of course not, you're such a fool. So I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is fucking good. You have no business sense anyway, just stop it! Yeah, yeah. You'd buy one, I'd buy one. 
I would absolutely buy one. Don't say, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll all be popular as pogs were in the 90s. Don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. There's no merch of me. <laughs> oh, Monomi. My little sister, don't you know the Aesop is fable about the rabbit and the bear? Not a tortoise? A long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Two old guys living together? The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Why did you even meet the old guys in that story? <laughs> even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. A half pink rabbit is so lame. You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me, you're the one who has no fashion sense. <laughs> well, I don't know what we could be referencing here. I don't know. I don't know what all those auras could possibly mean. Honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Oh, what are you waiting for? Hachimate, let's run. Y you're right. Star Wars. Come on, guys. How'd you miss that was a Star Wars reference? We ran out of the new warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. It's like you just got tired. Yeah, you're right. I'm with you, Chiaki. Let's get the fuck out of here. A tank? Multiple tanks? Military base. Okay, we got... Probably non-functioning tanks and jets, and what, non-functioning helicopters, right? That thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Is it real? Not just that, there's other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Like the helicopter. And the artillery platform. Or the missile truck? Yeah. Alright, Sonia, why are you hanging out at this depot? Look, that... Appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact this island is quite small, the military technology here seems quite expensive. Yes. Very expensive. Very very useful when the time comes to combat the Future Foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be, be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. <laughs> but, really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank, no problem. What? What? Talk about a weird state. Even a child can operate a tank that camera looks dangerous no problemo of course in modern warfare is there quite a class in all our grade schools what what <laughs> of course in modern warfare is required in all grade schools <laughs> yeah okay i know we said our country was like very third world, super sketchy, but the, that's, a, that's a new one. I wasn't expecting that. An obsession with anime and now this? Sonya's country never ceases to babble. Yes, However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. No one uses them. They're nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this base, stu the stuff in the base, probably won't be useful to us. No, that's wrong. What? Uh, I've discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator suit. That's the future foundation of the insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What's this? I assume it belongs to Monokuma and it was placed there rather ostentatiously. I don't know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Texas crossed with Florida, Russia, Poland, and in a third world country. 
Uh, I don't know, man. You could probably just stick a bunch of Eastern European countries together to get half of this. Half of her country. To get, like, half her country. You probably don't need American states. Wakuma <sighs> probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So, what does it say? How much written here? I don't know much. It does document it does document Jarrock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What's that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control. Prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Actually, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time. If that's true, the maintenance has been way too attentive. USA is a third world country that acts like a first world country. That doesn't make sense, BB. First, second, and third world is defined as uh, being on the side of NATO, being on the side of the Soviet Union, or being unaffiliated with either. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> there's, the, there's a... Or at least that was what it originally called. What, what, is, what do you think it means? What do you think third world means? You didn't know that? There's first, second, and third world country. So, during the Cold War, during the Cold War is when those terms emerge. And when you're studying the Cold War, that's what you use them for. And second world is the Soviet Union, which is why nobody calls any countries... Which is why nobody calls any country a second world country, because the Soviet Union no longer exists, and they were the second world. Yeah, first world is just NATO and, like, the and, and her allies, so... Basically, if you were opposed to the Soviet Union and on the side of the U.S. during the Cold War, uh, you're, a, you're probably a first world country. And if you're one of the most mainly neutral countries that is underdeveloped, that, are, that were largely underdeveloped, uh, you'd be in the third world. Yeah. China banned crypto? I believe they banned uh, Bitcoin a while ago, didn't they? That was a couple months, right? That was like a month ago. The third world was country with poor government laws and structures. Uh, not inherently. Not inherently, no. It just so happens that basically everyone outside the USSR and like... and uh, China, who was civilized, uh, all allied with the US, right? Like, most of Europe is it is first world, but they were all allies... Mo most of the... most of Western Europe is all first world, but they were also allies of it. You can, uh, you can look it up if you want to. What defines a first world country? Unless it's like, I believe like these days it's colloquially used to describe exactly what you think. What exactly what you said. Which is uh, countries that are underdeveloped and have poor leadership. They yeah, unbanned and then rebanned today. Oh. Well that, talk about flip-flopping. World country. Like if I just look up uh, on Google, what is a first world country? First world is a term developed during the Cold War referring to a country that was aligned with the United States and other Western nations in opposition to what was then the Soviet Union and its allies. I, I think I think it's uh, changed to be, and since the collapse of the Soviet Union, it's it's basically changed to what you described it as, where there's no longer a second world, and first world is basically like any country. That these days, it, the terms kind of evolved to mean like first world's a civilized, stable society with you know rule of law, capitalist economy, uh, fully functioning democracy, and then third world's basically anything that's not that. Uh, yeah. So, like the 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 original meaning of the term though was that basically if like you were aligned with the. Uh, if you are aligned with the U.S. or not. Yeah, they had some serious maintenance here. You didn't know they were? Yeah. 
Fun fact. And that's why you can't be a second world country anymore. You can't be a second world country anymore. Because <laughs> the Soviet Union doesn't exist. All the Union. By today's meaning, you're right. Yeah, you're right by today. You're, you're, you're right by today's meaning, more or less. Yeah. I, w I would accept that for today's meaning. Items at the supermarket were always stocked, and the hotel is really clean. Could, the, could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? More importantly, what is the incident? What does it mean by the island is unaffected by it? I, can, I cannot discern that from the passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. However, there is one, one more thing that caught my attention. More? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? It was written here that the central island houses a large administrative building. Yes. However, we couldn't find the building anywhere. We even commented on how strange it was, yeah? According to this plan, the building the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters. Could it be that same building? They plan to rebuild it and use it as the headquarters, or so it's written. The heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't exist? What the hell's going on? You're so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other. You might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what is really going on? This mystery doesn't make sense. No matter how much we think of it, there's no reason about it. Okay. There's a literal elevator in the Rock Mountain. There could be an administrative building under Monokuma Rock. Uh, the bomb thing that's going off could reveal the administrative building. It could be like underground or something. Like there's a number of things it could be. All right, so we got a truck, another truck, a Monokuma hiding. Nice try, Cyber Mono Cyberpunk Monokuma. We got you. You and your net deck. You and your net, net deck. Is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane, this looks like it actually has an engine inside, but I do not know how to drive. And besides, it's not like I can escape by driving off the island. Can't click the guns. Oh wait, we can look at this truck. Let's try this one. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms and a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons here, like guns, anti and anti-tank rockets. Carelessly stacked here. Is it all right to handle these carelessly? And they seem to be well maintained if they're not covered in rust, right? This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? All right, we got a chopper. This helicopter. Is this the helicopter Motokuma used to execute Terry Terry? This helicopter. D don't screw with me. Ow! How'd you make? What happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I ended up just hurting my fist. Damn, I'm so weak. He's like, man, I punched a helicopter and my fist hurt. Oh, I'm so weak. I'll be honest. Why is he even pissed? They didn't even know Terry Terry for more than like a day. Why would you even care that he's dead? Don't forget, Sonya's a conspiracy theorist, and so she probably believes in hearing healing crystals in a flat earth and some shit. Uh, yeah. Possibly. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a fucking tank here. I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Real <laughs> mad fights with his fists. That goes for women, too. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. <laughs> no thanks. Wait, boob pillows? Xenon would have said yes. Xenon probably would have also died in that fight. But he would have died happy, knowing he fought for what he believed in. Seeking Industries. Yes. <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. Of course he's here. There's a bunch of very strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Oh. Seeking Industries. Huh? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but the biggest corporation on Chaparrock Island. This place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pr 
pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. This company obviously doesn't make machine parts. What the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It's like they might be... Yeah, it might be good to thoroughly investigate this place. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm on board with that. I'm, I see the Monokuma here. Let's uh, collect this one. At least you get to uh, lay on O5 pillow when dead. This is making Monokuma? What's this making? This automated machine is making something. A mannequin? It's a human machine. Is that a robot? Seriously, they can make robots? How far did technology advance without me knowing? You think Nekamaru was made here? It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible. Maybe. Wow, the company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of tech. I have no clue. Maybe it's connected to the Future Foundation? This machine is making another machine? Yes, machines do that. The finished product looked like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Could be a Mono Beast. Doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of something? Yeah, it's a Mono Beast. You talking about the Mono Beast? Is there any chance those Mono Beasts were created here? Mono Beasts were created here. Yep, that's what this place is for. No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? And that's why it's just fine. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. This place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such dangerous robots in a place like this? I mean, Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. That's some high-tech shit. <laughs> hey, Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Eh, why? You just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> Obviously, what else am I going to do except laugh? It's so childish. What are you talking about? A computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> he was probably trying to run a monger or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was a horrible delusional story. I'm embarrassed to read it because I keep fucking goosebumps. Delusional? So what was written in the email? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions of the world. Okay. These riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. Uh. These riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually, it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Uh. When the riots get circulated, strange incidents start occurring one after the other. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world. And as the end of the world gets closer and closer... End of the world? I know, right? Sounds like a lame high school band who would think of a song title. Whoever wrote this needs to go with a better story ideas, because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson, though. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. Kazuichi. Yeah. Uh, spy? Spy or, re or moron? I think we'll, we should play this game more often. Spy or plain idiot? Alright, great job, buddy. Are you sure it's okay to say it's a made-up story? <laughs> uh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... There's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook just killing people by writing in it. Yeah, right. Uh, okay. A lot of unimaginable things keep happening, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something that unbelievable could actually happen. Well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. Not After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over the place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason. It's not so weird. The whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. Why? Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Uh, They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching us kids kill each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, now that it's an LL, it's actually a terrible assumption. If it's true, our fates are in the hands of those rich perverted bastards. <laughs> Sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. Wow, that'd be interesting. At the thought of it happening in reality is definitely unsettling. 
but also somewhat believable. All right. Must be Transformers. Again. Close. Ew. Digimon. Hey, Hajime. I'm just looking for you. What's up, Fuhika? Yeah. I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right, I've explored everywhere at least once. Uh. You want to meet up with everyone to discuss things? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Yeah, I'm heading there now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyuhiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that. Well, now's not really the time to be impressed. It'd be bad to make the other wait, so I should hurry over to the street with food stands. This is the main entrance? Yep. We've been everywhere now. Okay. And that says Ramen. Senpai missed the fun fact. So does character is based on Dong and Rampa's author? Yep. That is a fun fact. Alright, looks like everyone's here. What, is it? what about Nikki? Huh? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. How'd it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Oh. Not really. I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However, I believe there is no question the Future Foundation is behind everything that's been going on. Yeah. We sure about that? Huh? Yeah. What are you saying? If, if they're not our enemy, what are they? They're our ally. There's no way they trap us on silent. That's true. There's something I've been thinking about. Monomi works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. Even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Mono Monomi has been opposing him. You mean for Teddy to oppose her, right? No, no, they could both work for the same organization and be differing factions. No, I, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. <laughs> it's possible the enemy of her enemy is actually an ally. She opposes Monokuma. You think she's an ally? They both oppose one another. Is it not possible they're both our enemy? Like a three-way battle, it's kind of hot. She's all right. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the future foundation? Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitors working for them? Be a fucking idiot. Oh wait, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't. Katsuichi Soda, shut up! Yes! It's never a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Lied? It seems like a false entity. Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. How can you not believe in your friends for everything we've endured together? Weak. How weak. And here's Nagito. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. That weakness is hopeless. And it's Nagito. Welcome back. Guess we talk to him, see what's he gonna say. Where have you been this whole time, Nagito? What the I don't know where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you keep running around in circles. What are you, hamster? <laughs> Oops, if I compare you to hamsters, will I get yelled at by the weakling who dropped in? What is that? You asked me where I've been this whole time, right? I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe they were hiding in a secret location, carefully watching. <laughs> Who are you working talking about? Are you saying there's someone that's on the side of us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the, of the killing high schooler. Yeah. <laughs> So, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Bakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? Oh. Oh, I see you've only reached that stage. What stage? You're not making sense at all. Not making sense. Still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Bakuya, a survivor of the killing school, lie? Die in vain like he did at the very beginning. Don't you think it's strange? What does that mean? She was not what he means, please. How would you say it about the peculiar dining thing? Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. I've been acting very strange lately. Unlike this version of Akito, we've been witness to. I don't like you either. Never like you in the first place. It looks like I'm being hit. 
That's understandable. There's no way you guys comprehend my suffering. <laughs> Knowing the truth can be painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? What do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? Why don't I tell you guys that after we found who the traitor is? Huh? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I haven't figured out who the traitor is. But it won't take me long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if it costs me my life. You're gonna weed out the traitor. I already said there's no traitor. I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? You're a funny guy, Kazuya. Why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who they are? I'll be able to wipe out all the despair on the island. What? I'll like become the ultimate hope. Ultimate hope. Oh my, nah. are you talking about it? You finally lost your god in mind. Now then, I should get going. I'll s if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Oh. <laughs> tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. The next one will probably be the last. Nikito, what does that mean? Johnny. Bye. Nikito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. If it was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Oi, oi. I don't want to think about this, but could he be planning a kill? A kill? Who's he going to kill? Based on how he's talking, it looks like his target's the train. She's no such a person. I mean, the notion one of us has been deceiving us all along. I'll never believe that. Like Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito, or... What if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor's forgotten they're the traitor? Like how I forgot I don't have a talent? Uh... Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance he's planning to kill, right? We gotta tie him up again, force him to stop is the only way. Uh, it's impossible. I think Amara's not even here anymore. I got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too. You get it as Junko's boyfriend, you can see it. That's a yes, right? Leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. I have Nikita. Katsuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nikita wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. To this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling. I hope it means I'm just thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island, and we returned to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Is Junko's and Makoto's child? Ah, yes. That's obvious, right? Or, of course. I totally didn't. Yeah, I agree. They're, they're kind of a combination. I don't know if that's actually the case, though. This is Chiaki's cottage? I have no business here. I have business here. Don't tell me where my business is or isn't. Gundam, I won't forget your final message. Even now, the words are etched into my heart. I don't know if you'll find answers, but we'll continue to press forward so you won't let your rest. Alright, good job, guys. Where's Miss Sonia? Damn, a lot of dead people. It's like every other room or worse is empty. No business at Sony's cottage. All right. Looks like we're back to being uh, our boring selves. How many of these dolls do I have? I'm missing one. Ooh, almost done. For some reason, I'm really tired today. I walked around all day. I guess I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain you can call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. It's not good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. It's a bad habit of mine. But if Hajime is the mastermind, did the light Kira and played along while planning, pl pretending his memory was lost? Would that mean we wanted the... the stop killing each other because we keep catching all the killers we are the four dark devas of destruction I mean unless Sonya has them they're dead that's why I tried to check Gundam's room Sonya's room and Chiaki's room <sighs> I should get some sleep for today rest my mind for a while and then I'll give some more thought tomorrow I mean Gundam might have a bunch of pets in his room that he doesn't carry around that's why I wanted to check his room yeah they all starve 
Words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words can't be undone with erasers or a backspace. That's why I need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right. When I was being trained at the Safari Park, at the time there were two animals at the park I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Chacha Jr. To be honest, Chacha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he just stared her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties. What? That idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. What? What? Also, this one time the three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Chacha Jr. proudly said, With fire. Sir Dietrich was pretty crappy, so he knew how to play Chacha Jr. He made Chacha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it. And he saved the drowning, fa drowning fawn himself. He made Chacha Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he's really cheesy. Chacha Jr. sounds like a xenon. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the park. park. That's right, until the day I end up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Chacha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich Sr. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could put down Chacha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret what I said back then. Squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. <laughs> yeah, okay. He regrets what? Turns out he's a Xenon's a fox. <laughs> Looks like Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. It looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Microbe to a squirrel. No, no, I think the fox was the one that killed him, right? Dietrich was the squirrel? Or was it the other way around? I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. I wasn't paying too much attention to Monokuma's story, to be honest. I mean, I read it, obviously, but... Let's see... Uh... A fox named Chacha Jr. Yep, yeah, Chacha Jr. is a fox. I was right. You're a fox. You're not a squirrel, Xenon. You've been promoted to fox. Dietrich was the squirrel. I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should just head over to the restaurant. Alright, restaurant time. My collection's almost complete. I've gathered quite a lot. I've come this far. I need to collect them all. Much like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. He's a murderous fox, apparently. Oh, Chiaki doing her whole sleep standing thing. Chiaki? Hey, Chiaki. Uh, I, w I wasn't sleeping. Yes, yes you were. Probably not sleeping, I was playing a game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game. There's always time for gaming. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, could you look, you look more tired than usual. Last night I had a weird dream that woke me in the middle of the night, so. Maybe that's why. A weird dream? It's a Monokuma puzzle game. One of those tile falling games where you make falling Monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Mm. No matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat that Monokumas just fell endlessly. Why'd I have a dream like that? Probably because we saw that factory where those Monokuma goods were made. Monokuma on the brain. Well, let's go up for lunch. Or breakfast, sorry. It's all the same, we seem to only eat one to two meals a day anyway. Oh, hard to break. Come check out, I'm more eating. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, I get locked in a place like the Funhouse again. That's fair, you know. Gotta eat what I can. 
Eat Welsh. <laughs> Eat Welsh, shit well. His brain damage didn't stop him. <laughs> Evie, you're so rude. You're gonna drop crime scene on away. Okay, now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Ooh, I'm still eating here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. It's okay, I'm pretty much done eating. Selfish. Of course, the main topic is about our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. What? Are you seriously gonna do that? Are you really gonna do that? Of course, I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Oi, Kura. We get it. Hurry up and spill the plan. Oh. Well, I thought up several plans, but in the end I figured a straightforward plan would be yes. Oh. One of us would be the decoy to lure them into the lobby by telling them we need to talk to him there. And then, at the best possible moment, the two task force members move in and swiftly capture together. Oh, so... That's the plan. What do you think? Oh, 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 oh. I don't understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? Oh, now, I'll present each of you with your role. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Yeah, yeah. Commander sounds like the most fun. Hey, didn't I say I wouldn't let anyone object? Yeah. Next, I'll present the two task force shop members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyuhiko and Kami. Yeah, oh, sure thing. Yeah, and the person burning with the core of this plan, the decoy has to lure Nagito. I give that role to Chiaki Nanami. What? Huh? No way. What did you say? It's not like I ever agreed to this plan. It's gonna be fine. It's like you're gonna tie him up. You just gotta lure him. Yeah. There's no way I'd ask Miss Sonya to take on a dangerous role, you know? Please, I'm begging you. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mahiru was here, she would have beaten the, you the fuck up. Oh my uh, I mean, you did say earlier, you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. <laughs> I didn't, didn't I say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? <sighs> you gonna do it? Alright, then the lineup's perfect. Sony and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sony has the role of princess. That doesn't make sense. And you're on chore duty. I want you to just fly the rope we need to tap, Nagito. Did I? Did I? What? Why? Hajime has nothing to do anyway. He shall accompany me. No, like I said, he needs to fly the rope. That's not a request. It's an order. An order, I tell you. There's somewhere I must go. Uh, fine. If Hajime, if Hajime and Sony are free, it's fine. Eat them. If Hajime and Sonya are free, it's fine. To object so forcefully. Where do you need to go, Sonya? I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loud. You're gonna be alone with Hajime at a secret place? For now. We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you make sure to prepare your bodies and minds. Is our commander gonna be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Maybe we should swap Chiaki and, uh... We need to swap uh, Chiaki and Soda. I feel like uh, she would be a better commander. Soda sent Chiaki to her death. <laughs> I know, right? That's what he's trying to do, right? <laughs> Let's all disperse her out. <laughs> now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. After our planning meeting ended, I quickly finished eating breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. Why did we go back to our cottage? I feel like there's a software bug in this game where they're only where they where they can only give you control of your character in this room. Because, like, okay, why would our character eat breakfast, go back to his cottage, and then go back to the place where he ate breakfast to meet someone? Instead of just hanging out there. Do we have toothbrush? Do we, do we not have like a toothbrush or a bathroom at the uh, hotel? Like honestly, it's not like we don't live where- It's not like we don't live- aren't, We aren't- We're the only people on the island. Like, bring your toothbrush with you. Use the hotel bathroom. And brush your teeth there. And then bring all the shit back when you're done. If that's what he's doing. Like, it's the only reason I can think of for him to have- uh, him to have gone back to his cottage instead of just hanging out and waiting. 
Monomies here, that's interesting. Sonia's here. You're late. I I'm right on time. Should I come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you're severely punished if you don't beat 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. Damn, I would be in so much shit. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary it's rule. Not... Oh, I see. This is culture shock. I guess it can be over. Where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Of course. It could, it's a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Chapel Rock Island development plan? Did you find out something about it? How should I say this? After reading the document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility in this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking the large administrative building on the Central Island, right? I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island? What if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? A different facility? Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the... Oh, sorry. Was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island had such a symbol on its door. You're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. That's the case. That ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there's no doubt the ruin's quite suspicious. You're right. I completely forgot about it being after being locked in the funhouse. I was just waiting for the hint for the password. Possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the Future Foundation is incredibly high. It's literally inscribed with it on the door. How the fuck is it not connected to them? I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> I'm going to be confident, so please be patient with me. Sonia going all Kyoko? She might be. Ready to rock and roll, Sonia? <laughs> At the ancient ruins on the second island, the word Mirai of Future was inscribed on the door. The discrepancies in the document are strange, but there's no doubt the ruin is suspicious. Alright. Guess we're going to the ruin. But first, first, we gotta see if we're getting real, how hard we're getting railroaded, and see if. Do, 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 do. Hello. What exactly does Kazuichi do as a commander? How the fuck should I know? In games, commanders are usually flags. Flags? You defeat the commander, no matter how many units are left, you secure a victory. If it's damaging, the commander is enough to decrease the opponent's more. As far as plans go, it's a pretty standard tactic. Wonderful. The plan was my seal of approval. Continue to target the commander. You're totally mistaking who to fight. What's the point of targeting Kazuichi? You're right. What a shame. Dude, she actually wants him assassinated. Damn. It's a shame. If Kazuichi heard that, his rapidly diminishing enthusiasm might plummet into the negatives. I don't know why. I'm starting to feel sorry for that guy. I'm not. He's a fucking creep. All right. Gundam, come on. Blah, blah, blah. We've already read the dialogue, so I'm just giving it. Okay. Actually, hold up. We should probably grab some of these first. Can I grab some of these? No time for you. Let's proceed to the entry point. Okay. We don't really get a choice. I was gonna get some uh, I, new toys to give as gifts to people, but they're not really giving me an option. You're starting to like Sonya a lot. Was it the second island or the third island? This is the second one, right? Starting to like Sonya? Yeah, Sonya's pretty good. Her and Chiaki are both great. Ain't you in the second island? Yep. I was checking to see if she had any unique dialogue, but it's just directions. How many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. Oh, I should not dwell on that. After all, we're here to look for clues. That's right, there's no doubt we'll find something here. Alright, let's start. Or 
forwards we go. Panel. The liquid crystal display next to the door. Ooh, hello. That's probably it. What do we have here? This is probably the key. The door will open if we input the correct numbers. Discussed this before, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. If we make a mistake, it's possible we'll be fired on by that gun. Burn the soda. I'm okay with burning soda. I can think of no other reason for the gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. That's right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. If you were shot by a gun like that, you'd have more holes in you than a bee tries to test. You mean a bee's nest. In my country, we use the expression bee tries nest. Anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. In order to open this door, we must find the password first. We'll destroy the door with explosive force. That's impossible. The door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find the password. We can drive the tank. Okay. She's older than a grade schooler. She knows how to drive a tank because she said everyone in the country knows how to drive a tank. Drive a tank. Blow through the door. Don't give a fuck. It's definitely better if we find out the password instead. All right. We have to do next is find out what the password is. It's a good thing we came here so we at least find that out. Problem is, where would we obtain the password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monomi said they didn't know it. If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? Okay guys, password guesses. Apparently it's numbers, or letters. After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, we decided to go back to our cottages. Apparently we can't take a guess. I was gonna say, I totally guess and reload. <laughs> it's the middle of the day, looks like I have some free time. Now, what should I do? Leave here, yes. Check if the hamsters. Check if the hamsters are alive. Come on. Are there any animals in his cottage? Nope. Okay. Right. Creep our way into Chiaki's room. We have no business here, apparently. Okay. Who he goes here? All right. Uh, we don't really have a choice. We're gonna go get. We need to get the last skill, if at all possible, for uh, Sonia. As I believe Sonia is the last person we have to get. Yep. Time to put in 9999. How do we know it's four digits? Well, we can guess. That's fair. Alright. Uh, Chiaki's here, and I'd like to do Chiaki, but... Due to chats, due to chat simping really hard for Miss Sonia, we're doing Sonia instead of Chiaki. As uh, we actually have to finish the people off to get anything out of them. Death Plague Chiaki though, I know, she's pretty- she's probably dead. But, if either one of them becomes inactive now, we can't do either of them. Wait, we already- we already lost out on a couple people because because of that, uh, hold up. Uh, we, we already lost out on Gundam because of that, right? Uh, we would have been done Chiaki and working on Gundam. Instead, we had to work up Sonya because of that. Then we worked up Sonya. We we're, did Sonya first and then swapped to Gundam and that was what caused half our problem. We didn't get Gundam done. We went to Sonya first, so we're doing Sonya now, because we, otherwise we won't get Sonya. She could death flat. She could just randomly disable herself. All right. Would you like to try her hand against the Almighty Mono 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 Machine? Yeah, give me it. Give it a shot. We need some random ass shit. The odds of getting a an improvement are so low. Put in like a hundred coins. Whatever, I'm gonna put in 20. Fuck, fuck it. That's not new, is it? Lucky. We're gonna do about 10, 10 20 items. 
We're still at about 50%, so it's not too bad. Is that new? We should still be getting a new one, like, about every other time. So we go down to about 640-ish. We're getting a lot of new items, that's not great. I'd like repeats of items we don't have a lot of that we consumed already. That looks like something for Kazuichi, unfortunate. That's a new ring. Okay, next one. I, I guess I'm gonna keep going, cause what I think, I think, and this is just my opinion, that we, we haven't found any of the good repeat, we haven't found any repeat items that I wanted to give Sonya. As we're fairly low on Sonia. We didn't get a cake. Uh, we didn't get another cake. And I'm trying to remember, I think we gave her earrings. Did we give her earrings? Or we give her something occult themed. I think we gave her something occult themed. Soda turning into an incel might be possible too is the next case. Yeah, it's possible. He might finally give up a brush. I don't know about that one. Okay. That's a repeat and not useful. We've gotten a lot of pens, weirdly enough. Can I like insert more coins? No, I'm just gonna tap as fast as we can. Now it's going up at a reasonable rate, like 1% per coin. go. Guaranteed new item. I don't feel like that was worth it. The second item wasn't a repeat. Holy shit, we're getting lucky all the time. What the heck? I didn't even know lucky could chain lucky. What's happening? Okay, we got like five in a row. All right. I should probably get going. All right, well, that was a thing. Got a bunch of coins. Gonna finish this day off with some free time. I think Sony was on the new island in the fact, in the, uh, hold up, we're gonna go right past Monokuma Rock to the last island. There's a lighthouse here. Have we been to the lighthouse? Maybe that's Seeking Industries, right? Hello, Sonia. I wonder where we would find the password to enter the ancient room. What should I do? Should I invite her to hang out? Coming out on too long is not healthy. Let's take a small break. Good call. I took a break with Sonia. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like we grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? For sure. What do I want to give her? Okay. Ramune. Coconut juice, cinnamon tea, non alcoholic wine, cold road baguette. Occult shit! Do you like Queen Street Jacket? No, not actually a cult. Buy Spike. Um... Oh, the glasses work, right? They have function lights to shoot your passion like a laser. Uh, maybe not. Crushed evil rings are gone. Hope's peak rings. This diamond was created from the fragments of the Hope Diamond cut long ago. Rumors follow death follows anyone who has this item in their possession. 
It's not a death flag. It's not a death flag, I swear. I swear. <laughs> it's a cult, so we're giving it to her. It screams a cult. You're truly kind. Now then, shall we, what shall we discuss? What should we discuss today? Uh, you know. If it pleases you, would you like to come to my room? I'm certain we'll feel more relaxed there than being outside. Let's go. I feel like Sonya's trying a little too hard today. Maybe something happened. For now, I decided to walk to Sonya's cottage. I'm terribly sorry, I've not kept this place particularly clean. It seems clean enough to me. Really? I haven't much experience taking care of myself. There's things I don't understand. Uh -huh. Thus far, I've managed to understand how to turn on the shower. I didn't know I also had to turn it off, so I accidentally flooded the floor. <laughs> that sounds like something a princess would do. So what happened? <laughs> what? Well, something happened, right? You're acting a little different than usual, so... Wow, she actually has like a completely different floor than us. Damn, she's got some We got a garbage room compared to everyone else's. She's got like this fancy ass room, damn. How could you tell? How could you tell? I'm not sure, I could just tell by looking at you. You can tell? I guess I can't hide things from you. She looked a little relieved when she said that. <laughs> Gave me a relaxed smile. It seems she understands, she doesn't need to try so hard. I had a nightmare. Nightmare. A nightmare where something dreadful happened and I was unable to return to my home. <laughs> when I woke up, I felt scared and... Oh, I, I want to go home now. I want to go back to my homeland where my family and people are waiting for me. As she shouted, Sonya collapsed and... Whoa, whoa, Sonya. I managed to catch her before she hit the ground. She was crying. Sobbing and scared out of her wits like a normal girl. Right now, she's finally acting normal. She's been holding it in for so damn long. I held her and patiently waited for her to stop trembling. Are you alright now? Yes, uh... I feel much better thanks to you. My energy seems to have returned somewhere. They're probably dead like most of the world. <laughs> probably. Though her eyes are still a little red, Sonya finally showed her smile. Hajime, I finally realized what you are. You completely match the description of the legendary hero passed down in my country. What? Say what? Legend goes like this. The hero wears a white shirt and possesses an antenna that can sense danger. With a face lacking distinguishing characteristics, he shall bring light to the tropical land. Y you're serious. There's no mistake, the legend must be speaking of you, Hajime. You wear a white shirt like the legend, and your hair looks like an antenna. <laughs> and your face is completely unremarkable. Please stop already! <laughs> a white shirt and an unremarkable face! What? That's so generic! According to legend, the hero will stand alongside the princess and sw freely swing the golden Makongo. Makongo's an animal, right? Is it okay to swing around a living creature? And the legend says they will establish something resembling order and prosperity to the kingdom. Wait, not actually order and prosperity? Not just a resemblance? <laughs> After all this time, Hatchman. So you're my destiny. She thinks I'm a legend. She thinks I'm uh, fated to end up with her. Damn. All right. She's totally into me. And I guess, what 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 happened to Gundam? Yeah. To to totally not. Hajime, when we escape the island, please come with me to Nova Seven Kingdom. When the time comes, let us capture the Golden Makongo. <laughs> if you do, I will be formally acknowledged. You'll be formally acknowledged as a legendary hero, and you'll be able to rule the Nova Seven Kingdom alongside. What? A life like that doesn't sound too bad. No, it sounds awesome, yes. yeah. However, you might need to study a bit before you can become my husband in the King of Nobosa. You'll need to know 30 foreign languages, economics, international law, diagnostic medicine. Wait, how am I supposed to know that? I'll be an old fucking man. She's to Hajime, not me. I'm Hajime, screw you. <laughs> Let's do our very best. Anyway, I'm glad Sonya feels better now. I'm sure everyone else won't feel like their usual selves if they don't see Sonya smile. I can feel a strong bond with Sony. As long as I have this bond, I'll never give up. I swear I'll leave the island with everyone. Hope fragment complete. Sony's report card's been updated based on your experience. You just unlocked the skill Envious Influence. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Obtained present. You obtained a present. Sonya's undergarments. You can check it from the present menu. No one takes your sampa. It's okay, 30 languages is a lot. I'm struggling to learn a second one. It's really hard. After listening to Sony's plans for the future, I returned to my room. So, uh, 30? I don't have a lot of hope for doing 30. 
Even one a year would be difficult. <laughs> we were all memeing, but that's the case. Looks like I have some free time. What should I do now? <laughs> it was just memeing. <laughs> that awkward moment. You're like, what if they do this stupid, pull this stupid joke again? Oh, they did. That's awkward. All right. What now? We have Sonia complete. Chiaki is our next expert. Map. Chiaki is, of course, the one place she feels comfortable. Thought Ibuki was special because she's the quirky weirdo. I mean, she did say she want. This one did say she wanted to get married to us. Maybe we just pick the two weirdest pe people. What happens if we talk? What happens if we maxed out one of the guys? We should have maxed out Gundam earlier. Maxed out Gundam gives us his underwear. Is it just underwear as a theme for the reward? <sighs> How should I lure out Nikita? Oh, she's taking it seriously. Gundam's boxers. <laughs> it's sexy, definitely won't work. I do. Should I hang out with Chiaki? Hell yeah. What do you think I should do? I think sexy definitely won't work. I spent time today with Chiaki. I think you have ways to lure out Nagito. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Hell yes. Alright, what do we got for her? Oh, I think we got something. Hold up. Yes. She she's a self-defined gamer girl. You telling me she wouldn't want a power glove? You can't say no to this. You can't say no to this. It's impossible. Isn't that a pretty rare item? This seems a little I feel like if I if I raise the flag. Every time I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short Time. Samurai head, Statue of Liberty, uh, so don't shoot the beam there. It's bad zombie nation eating humans. Is she dreaming about a game? I have no clue what game she's talking about. Oh, sorry, I think we're sleeping again. Were you playing a video game in your dream too? Oh, it was fun, it was a shooting game. I see, you like those kind of games. All the power in a single glove. I'm pretty all inclusive. I'll play anything from Space Invaders to the latest military shooters. I like simulation games. You know, I mainly play real time strategy games, but I like turn based ones too. Where do you want to go today? Yeah, how about we go to the ranch? I don't really like animals that much. Really? Why would you invite her to go to the ranch? That's so boring. They're mm. warm when you touch them, you know? That, that, that's a little scary. It's hard to, it's hard to guess what they'll do next. But our games that use precise calculations where success and failure is determined by numerical values. Hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe it has something to do with her upbringing? I don't want to do things Chiaki will hate, but it feels lonely to leave her like this. How about we look at animals from far away? The ones at the ranch are tame, you can try to touch them if it looks safe. Okay. Teach me lots of things, they'll probably be okay. I think. Is she relying on me? If so, that makes me happy. All right, I guess we're going to the ranch. Chiaki and I decided to walk to the ranch. Oh my, it's, it's a cow. <laughs> what if it's gonna dance like the one in Dancing Ants? That might be a little difficult. Maybe I should try touching it a little. Chiaki walked up to the cow and cautiously pet its back. The cow seemed to not mind and continued silently eating grass. <laughs> it's really warm. Because it's alive. I see, you're right. Unlike humans, animals don't mind being touched so much. I think it's easier to me. You're such a person. Something's born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that. It makes me think. Better not, not doing anything unnecessary. It's better if I just stay an innocent bystander as long as I can. Jackie's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. You know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh milk must be really tasty. You have to pasteurize that shit, man. Milk this cow? Sonia's pantsy, how much to acquire? How much is Danganronpa 2? <laughs> just kidding. 
You know milk comes from cows, right? What do you mean, from? Milk is milk, right? You, you know if you pull a cow's out, his milk comes out. You only need one cow to get as much milk as well. As much as you want. If you try to cut it, if you try to cut open a milk bottle, a cow comes out of it. It dances right. I knew it's definitely dancing on. Seriously, what kind of game is she talking about? I explained how milk works to Chiaki in detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? As usual, she's full of mysteries. Chiaki's report card's been updated based on your experience with her. Chiaki started to feel sleepy from playing too much, so after seeing her, sending her off, I returned to my room. Did we play? We just explained how cows work. Looks like it's starting to get dark. The doorbell? Is someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably someone like Sony or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it, I mean, so much has happened since we were at the island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. Yeah. What if Chiaki's an android made in the factory? <laughs> Hello there, Hajime. Nikito! Why is he here? Why is Nagito here? Where's the nighttime announcement? What are you doing here? You sure ask weird questions. I mean, you guys all have business with me, right? Hmm? Chucky invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? He's already found out about our plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? Good time, I have business with you guys too. Dude. Yep. If everyone's already at the lobby, it saves me a lot of trouble. And I want you to come to the lobby too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You don't know about that. As I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. That's understandable. Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've been left out from the start. I'm only joking, don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. You shouldn't take me so seriously. Oh, well, let's hurry over to the lobby. You know the details. I don't know the details of your plans, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you're planning to do. <laughs> when we first arrived at the island, we were friends who explored the place together. Let's go already. Fine, let's go. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we have the advantage. This ends poorly. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. This is going to end badly. What are we going in first and going to be the idiot who's uh, caught in the net? Let's see. Can I talk him to go tell him to go in before me? What are you playing? But I need to talk to you guys about something. <laughs> this is a strange coincidence. It's, there's something we both need to tell each other. Won't let him do it. Ah, fuck. We got to go first. All right. Tell lobby it is. Can we go through the top? Mm. Go to the hotel lobby, right? Let's go, we should keep this way. Great, we're being forced to go in first. If Chiaki summoned Nagito, the plan's already started. Fihiko and Akane should be waiting with inside for Nagito. What, what happened, Hajime? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. <laughs> you're a terrible actor. But if you're gonna slow like, down like that, I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the lobby. And that's when it happened. I just didn't want to get stabbed by Nagito. Alright, I got him. What are you doing? Don't judge us for this. We're going to tie you up. Tie me up. <laughs> tie me up. There's no, there's no use struggling! But I'm not struggling. Uh, you're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Time up for it's too late! Guys are really disappointed. How long are you going to be behaving so short sightedly? Why is. I have a good question. Why is. Everyone going alongside this stupid plan. It's so dumb in the first place. 
kind of look at the big picture, you know? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end with it. No. Now then, let's begin the beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island. And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. The air shook. An explosion of darkness overtook me and I was unable to see anything. I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. What's going on? Other words had left my eyes, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. <laughs> you know. <laughs> these am it's amazing, these amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end. It's over. This is the end. The killings are done, Birkin. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice. Fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now. And to do that, I'll destroy Jabberwock Island. Uh, he just become the Joker? I mean, that seems to be what he's role-playing. What do you mean? That was just a demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. Actual bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all of those bombs explode, the force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. Oh, you say? If you do that... Of course, I, I don't walk away from this unharmed, but there's no other way the actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Ooh, I like this. Oh, this bastard's serious? This bastard's serious? Akito, please. Oh. Are you crazy or something? No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here, the crazy one. Crazy one is. My, my. This guy. I'm totally shocked. Seriously, I'm totally shocked. That's all I can say about this turn of events. The bombs are, set, are timed. They go off in two days at noon. I've prepared many powerful bombs. So many that the ones that exploded don't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island, which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea. Are you serious? <laughs> Do you really think I'd go this far as a joke? Where did you set them up? I can't tell you. It'd be easy to leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Ooh, nice. Nice plan. He's like, I'll kill everybody and Monoku, I can't do anything because I haven't killed anyone yet. Except he did damage school property. Hold up. We need to check the rules. We need to check the rules. How dead is he? Da, da, da. Regulations. Extreme violence prohibited. Yeah, that doesn't apply. Where's the Monokuma rules? Alright. Murder. Black and exposed, not exposed. Forgiven. Body discovery announcement. Destroying property without permission is expressly prohibited. That includes surveillance cameras and monitors. You're going to get shat on by Monokuma. <laughs> oh, the camera's not damaged. That's a nice start. Oh, the TV is wrecked. Never mind, he's screwed. What's going on? Is everyone alright? 
Come, come, come! Don't get in the way! Monokuma was in the middle of weeding out the traitor! Whoa! You know, what are you planning to do? You'll have to say it. It's no use. I mean, the traitor should be able to reveal their identity on their own. Wait, what? They can't reveal their identity on their own? What does that mean? Do I really have to say it? My, my, you guys are eyeing each other like sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. And the traitor doesn't know they're a traitor. Don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules. Remember the same black can only kill a maximum of two people? If he blows up the whole island, it's going to kill way more than two people. I see. You sure have a good memory. Hmm. Like you said, if a student breaks the rule, I have to punish them. That's only when someone breaks the rule, right? You can't punish someone for breaking the rule before they've broken it. Yep. Saying you're going to break the rules isn't against the rules. So right now there's no way I can punish this. Wait, what? Punishment happens afterwards, not before. That's the rules of society, right? Even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. It's all be fine. I'm sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. He damaged property. You should be dead. Monokuma only follows the rules when it's relevant to him, though. More than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be alright. As he, after he said that, Nagito walked away. He just walked away. I couldn't even stop him. I felt afraid of Nagito. The madness coming from his body was seeping into my bones. I never expected him to go this far. Nagito is so reliable. I don't have to do anything. He's shaking things up. That bastard I'll never forget. Are you fucking serious about those bombs? Uh, as long as the traitor comes forward, he'll say what the bombs are. Where the bombs are, right? Is that his goal? I'm begging you guys. It doesn't matter who does it. Someone just come forward. I'm begging you guys. Come forward is the traitor, Soda. Please die. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. When Nagito said yesterday, I'll weed out the traitor if it costs me my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That's Nagito's goal. But what is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Will he really blow up the entire island? How much TNT do you burn again? Who knows? My motto is to do a good deed every- I mean, we don't know how long he's been playing this. I'm guessing it's recent. None of the weapons work- there weren't a lot of explosives in the weapons room. It's gotta be stuff from the base. We don't know what there is in the base. There could be bombs. But still, that's quite impressive. My motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was at a bar and shouted, Can I get a Sam? The female bartender happily answered, Sure thing. Makes me happy when someone else is this happy. Doing a good deed every day is awesome, but inside... The woman probably thought I was a loser for sitting alone at a cheap bar in the middle of the night. I can't keep, I can't keep up with this crap. Hey, sweet cheeks, give me another Sam. Not a Sam, Adams. I'm talking about raw salmon. Here's some good news for you. I've imbued the smell of vanilla into the Monokuma plushies. It's effective aromatherapy. It'll definitely calm everyone's nerves if they're agitated. Available in the near future. <laughs> That's it for Monokuma shopping corner. So raw Sam, a Sam is salmon. Okay. Give me a Sam. Oh. Folks Peak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Probably the morning announcement. Good morning, everyone. It looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Good morning, everybody. Give me a Sam. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. A dull metallic sound ringing in my ears. And the back of my head feels hot. I can't think straight. But I can't afford to spend the whole day resting. I immediately left my cottage.
Didn't the hotel just get bombed the fuck out? Ignoring all these losers, unless Chiaki or Sony is around here. Let's go into the lobby. I want to see if the place looks bombed out. Damn, where'd he put the bomb? Looks like the bomb was around here, so we shouldn't be able to eat breakfast, right? Even the reception desk was caught in the explosion. It's not a problem since no one was using it. Looks like the arcade machine was too close. It's not going to work anymore. Chiaki's probably the most upset about this. Uh-oh. Chiaki can't, doesn't have her video games. She's going to fucking flip and murder someone. It'll be the 90s all over again. Thanks for the drink, baby. Looks like the arcade machine was too close. Both of them are broken. Oh, she's going to kill someone. She's going to kill someone. She's quietly staring at the arcade machine with sad eyes. Morning, Hedgeman. Did the arcade machine break? Oh, it's too close to the explosion. I guess I couldn't take it. And this, this arcade machine was really popular. It was so tough, an elephant could damage it. But if it's broken, I can't do anything about it. Look at this, just how it is. Her shoulders are sagging pretty low. All right, so that's a good motive. Ruining her only source of entertainment on the island that she's been hostage at for ages. That's it, there's a fucking pool table. You want to play pool, Chiaki? It's basically a video game. Akane is not a loser, she'll kick your ass. Apparently not for trying to blow her up with bombs, though. Alright, let's go. How does how does the breakfast room look? It looks like the, the top floor is probably wrecked. No? Ew. How are we feeling? Alright, it's time for our morning meeting. Looks like everyone's alive and still here. I assume we haven't done anything horrendous to Nagito yet. Although maybe we did. She did threaten to kill everyone, that is a little bit of tension. <sighs> but, and I'm sure they're going to discuss what Nagito's doing, what they're planning to do about Nagito, but I think that's going to have to wait until next time. Alright guys, thanks for watching, but I think time to wrap things up.